All right, Pat. You know I wouldn't leave you hanging. Let's do it. Hi, guys. Welcome to Leave React. So hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back. This is uh, probably going to be a good one. We're back with Mr. Miles Davis. Um, it's been a while. We did a, a whole album for him, actually, like about two months ago, I believe. And uh, it was amazing. <laughs> it really was. It was definitely an experience, and I'm glad that we did it. And today we're going to be doing something, I think, a little bit different for him. It was released in 1970. It, uh, the album, I believe, is called Bitches Brew. Um, this is going to get demonetized. I already can feel it in my bones. Uh, we're going to be listening to the title track, Bitches Brew, which is about 27 minutes long. It was written by Miles Davis. It was recorded in August of 1969, and it features a hell of a lineup. I'll save it to the end. Or I'll save it for the end because I don't want to clog up time, but boy, it's a lineup. Y'all are going to like this one. I can already feel it because I probably will too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll link the other videos if you want to go watch the uh, full album reaction that we did. It was uh, what, Shades of Blue? Kind of Blue? I can't remember what it was called. I see. I, it's going to kill me. Hold on. It is Miles Davis. Is it Shades of Blue or Miles Davis? Kind of Blue. Yeah. I see. I had it on the second one. All right. What am I doing? Let's do this. All right, Miles Davis, Bitches Brew in three, two, one, hit it. Oh, three, two, one, hit it. We get funky on the weekends around here. This already has a completely different vibe than kind of blue. This is Zappa adjacent. Pat, you're right. Totally. The mothers, definitely. A little more intense, though. Like I'm walking down like some dark alley, it's raining, some city, it's scummy. Oh. That bass is disgusting, bro. Oh. Wow, the snaps. That is the epitome of cool right there. Straight up. It's a sax, right? 
Or an oboe. Ah. Oh. Drummers Lenny White and Jack D. Johnette. Benadryl trip. What are they called? Oh, fuck. I can't remember. Oh. The music's too good, damn it. Reminds me of King Crimson too. Like down the line, King Crimson. It's outside, baby. Sure, she. You see her? Do you see mommy? Sorry. Of course, she left the door open. It's freaking kids. Man. And I'm paying the electric bill now, so of course I care now. Don't get me started on the bill. Oh my god. Too good, bro. I gotta close this door. I'm, I'm gonna be mad if I don't close it. Give me one second. Oh man. Daddy, 
Close the door. Good job. Oh, she did it. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Sounds like it sounds like Starless by King Crimson a little bit. I know that's in the future, but maybe Ferp got some inspiration from here. Maybe not. Oh. Go ahead, Lenny. God damn. And it's Chick Corea on the keys, I think, right? There's two pianos, Joe Zawunal and Chick Corea. And two drummers, too. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's like a bad dream, but it's the best dream you've ever had. <laughs> Checking my bitch's brew. Sorry, my bad. It's almost done. Strip the sound back a little bit. This is too good, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. I had no idea that Miles could get down like this. Oh, of course she let another fucking fly in. You guys know I hate bugs. I fucking hate them. I'll burn the it down. Why would you open the door again? Sorry, this door thing is going to be about the end of this video. Close the door!
It's like a jam session from hell. <laughs> but I'm in heaven. That's good. Sorry, I was talking to my girl. I wasn't like freezing. There's, they're moving out tomorrow. They're they're moving all uh, her stepdad stuff out tomorrow. So we're trying to get the truck ready for him and the boxes ready. And I have all this stuff I have to do too for this. So kind of a busy time. My apologies. seem like it's real like at points I don't even know how to explain it it's so strange it's almost like happening in like I don't know of course this bug is over here now oh uh, what is that thing Apologies, folks. same time it's perfectly low in the mix <laughs> McLaughlin with the crazy guitar in the back Bass clarinet and a or a soprano sax. Okay, I was like, "What the hell is making that noise, bro?" If you guys are still with me, I appreciate you. Use the word electric in your comment, and I'll know you are paying attention. I appreciate you. I'll pin the best one. Strange journey today, and I appreciate it. Close the door. I 
to say that one more time. <laughs> Damn kids, don't listen. This is a stressful song, there's a lot going on. I'm definitely gonna have to listen to this a couple times to even like fathom what's going on at some points. Like it's so out there at points. I love it though. Psychedelic jazz fusion. I bet they had fun writing this. Or Miles did at least. has been so good the entire fucking song. This was written in 1969. That's crazy. It definitely reminds me of like Mahavishnu Orchestra points, obviously because of Lachlan, but definitely had some mother's influence in the first half too. Music for musicians and music lovers, definitely. My mom would listen to this, that's her lot. I think took influence from this too. Less Claypool, definitely. I can hear it. out there. 
like the trumpets are like cries out in the dark. Gnashing of teeth. whole track is it's so strange and it's over well pat and everybody who's still with me that was fucking awesome i mean what else can you say about that that that, that was some of the most out there stuff i think i've ever listened to on this channel at least like in the the jazz sphere you know and we've definitely done a lot of stuff a lot of different artists a lot of different groups and projects, you know, uh, like I said, we did the whole album, uh, kind of blue by Miles Davis, which is a complete different, like what it's like a 180 from this, like completely com in every direction. It's different. There might've been like one or two things that were similar, but it mostly revolved around miles himself and like how his trumpet sounded. Uh, but other than that, man, that was, yeah, like the only comparisons I can really give you is like, you know, Mahavishnu uh, Orchestra, the uh, the Mothers of Invention. But this is, I mean, in the jazz sphere, I don't really have any comparisons to this. I mean, like maybe Return to Forever a little bit, but not really. Like, you know, like it's hard to really place this in like the canon of everything we've listened to. But man, that's kind of in its like a league of its own. Like it's not even really... I don't know. It's obviously it's music for musicians and music lovers. And it's also even for music lovers or musicians. I There's probably tons of them who, that wouldn't like that or wouldn't dig that because that's not their thing. But man, if you just like let like if you give things a chance, usually like they'll, they'll win you over, you know, and that's how it was like on like the first video I did for kind of blue, like, you know, miles completely won me over on that. And, uh, <laughs> this completely just solidified like how much I, how, you know, hold him in high esteem now, man. Cause he, <laughs> he can literally do anything he wants with that trumpet with his writing. Like it's like, this is so out there. And like the last one was so focused, concentrated, uh, atmosphere, you know, like this is, it's still atmospheric, but I'd say it's more in the vein of a uh, almost like an audio painting sort of thing. Like, you know, we do, like I say, for like Revolution 9 or something like that. It's kind of it paints this kind of like living world in your in your mind as you listen to it. And as the trumpet cries out, there's like this like dissonant guitar, those really strange key lines like there, there's just so much going on. And then there's like all this time for it to breathe. And they just keep repeating the same line over and over and then bam, back into it. Another trumpet part like, man, like it, it'd be really hard to like <laughs> without listening to it again, like to break it down piece by piece. Like I always say for these long videos, don't expect a crazy good recap because for most of the part I'm trying to enjoy the music. I'm still trying to take notes in my head as I go to like maybe talk about. But for the most part, 
I'm trying to enjoy the long ones because I know that that's the whole point is the ride, the experience of it. You know, the short tracks, you can listen to those and I can most of the time give you all something, you know, but the long ones, these are kind of songs like this is a whole album side. Like you have to let this sit and simmer for a couple, you know, listens, maybe even more, you know, as many spins as you can get. But from a first impression, I don't know if I like it as much in one aspect as, you know, kind of blue. I like kind of blue as more of the atmospheric, you know, kind of variety, something to put on if you're kind of in a bad mood or you're dreary feeling, you know, this is, this is a completely different animal. Uh, if for instrumentation, for the composition, I would definitely go with this because this is like free form psychedelic jazz fusion. Like, I don't even know what the fuck to call it, but whatever it is, it's good. And I like it and I want more, but I really appreciate you, Pat, for sending me this. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I, I got to hold the, like the long ones to the end of the month usually because people take, um, a lot of the slots up for the shorter ones, you know, and I try to you know, fit everything together like it's a puzzle, basically. And the long ones always end up at the end of the month for some reason. But that was incredible. Um, now we can go through this incredible list of people we got here. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Do, do you want to say do you want to say hi? Do you want to go outside? Hi. You want to say hi? Yeah, say hi. Hi. We just did a long one. It was super long. It was really good, though. <laughs> yeah, you see yourself? Oh, Daddy. Yeah. Get me. Get me. I'm a friend. Oh, really? Well, can I finish this? Thank you. She's so sweet. Uh, sorry about that. Um, All right, so we're going to get through the list. So it's Miles Davis on the trumpet, uh, Wayne Shorter on the soprano saxophone, <laughs> Benny Maupin on bass clarinet, Joe Zabunol. Shh. Hush. Chick Correa on electric piano. Uh, Joe Zawinul on electric piano. Uh, John McLaughlin on electric guitar. Dave Holland on bass. Harvey Brooks on the electric bass. Lenny White on the drum set. Jack Dijonet on the drum set. Don Elias on congas. And uh, Juma Santos on the shaker and congas. Uh, like I said, that's one hell of a lineup. I know ha like three fourths of those names, and they're all legends. You know what I mean? Um, I know Wayne was on the last one. I think with him that we did. Um, I know Chick Corea, obviously. I know Joe Zawanul. I know John McLaughlin. Lots of John. Uh, oh, hold on. I know Dave Holland and Harvey Brooks. I think obviously I know Lenny White from the last one. It, th there's so much. Close the door. Thank you. I had to say it. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I got. I don't even know what to say to like pick out like a favorite thing from that. I uh, maybe the trumpet because Miles, you know, he. I think he really he's like the one piece that if it was missing, it wouldn't work. I think there's some things you could take out of his work that you know it would, you could replace it with something else. But there's nothing that can replace that like signature screech and ho like almost howl sound that he gets out of his trumpet and like they're like they're like cries into the dark. Like I said, they're like gnashing of teeth lamentations being spoken into the world all right settle down lee um you know that's kind of what it felt like at some points but it's also a fever dream trapped in a bad uh diphenhydramine hydrochloride trip at the same time so it's uh it's a mixed bag but it's a good one you know it's definitely something that is not for the faint of heart and uh people that don't have uh you know long attention spans or you know, it's definitely like a very select amount of people, even on this channel, would like this. You know, like it's very, I don't know, specialized. Let's say for listening. And uh, if you got through this, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it, man, because I know that was one hell of a trip. And hopefully, y'all enjoyed that because I definitely did. Um, like I said, I have to go with Miles. Probably is my favorite thing, other than you know the two drummers, Lenny and uh, John absolutely killing it john mclaughlin on the guitar absolutely nuts that those dissonant kind of riffs that were just kind of offbeat and they added so much of a they added this really good layer of sound that everything kind of bounced off of and it sounded really cool um trying to think there's that really low uh soprano sax as well that was really cool sounding um and i love the vocals no i'm just kidding um <laughs> 
Man, and then, oh yeah, then Chick Corea and Joe on uh, Joe Z on the piano. Man, they were just fantastic. Like they 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 were the ones coming up with some of the most otherworldly melodies and sounds. And like, like I said, it was like a bad dream. It's like a fever dream at points. And uh, I don't even know. I really know. Like I'm kind of like I feel like I lost my mind. I lost my marbles with that one. I don't even know what to say other than what I've already said to be honest. So I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Thank you, Pat, for a wonderful pick. Like I said, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. I don't know if you did. But I did. And I definitely want to listen to more Miles. Kind of Blue and Bitches Brew. Check. I know there's more from this album. There's like a complete session, you know, with different people and everything as well. So maybe we'll have to do some more. Um, thank you for watching. I will see y'all later. Patreon. That's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Join any of the tiers. Get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There's a shit ton on there. And we'd love to have you on our patrons-only Discord. And that's a perk you get if you join any of the tiers. Just like all the bonus content, you should say. Whatever you want to call it. Um, and there is also a PayPal and a Cash App as well in the description if you want to send a tip or a request in that way. Thanks for watching, guys. That was a strange one, but it was uh, fucking awesome. YouTube AI, that's for you. <laughs>